Hi, this is Scott, Kilo CR6, Delta Alpha Yankee, with another FT65, FT4X uh, operator series video. Uh, in the last video, I did a full radio reset so we could take this thing back to its original factory condition. So if you got one of these under the tree on Christmas morning, got it charged up, you're probably ready to start doing some stuff with it. And if you don't have a programming cable, you can still get by by programming from the front panel. So the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and program in a couple of memory channels, but let's make it easy and let's start with our simplex channels. So to program in a sim simplex channel, we're not going to be dealing with uh, CTCSS tones. We're not going to be dealing with offsets. So it's a fairly simple process. The first thing you need to do is put the radio, put the radio into VFO mode. Sorry, when we went to VFO mode, it went to something that was uh, catching one heck of a lot of static. So we're in VFO. So what we're going to do at, at this point is go ahead and input the frequency. So this is going to be the VHF national calling frequency of 1, 4, 6, 5, 2, 0. So we've got that programmed in. We could, if, I, if we wanted to, we could talk on that frequency at this point. But we want to go ahead and store this as a memory channel. So once you put the frequency in, again, we're not dealing with any offsets or anything. All we're simply going to do to move this to a memory channel is down here at the uh, at the bottom left hand corner, the uh, star sign and VM key. We're going to go ahead and hold that down. And that takes us to the next available memory channel. Now at this point, you have two choices. If all you want to do is just store that as a raw frequency, we can move on to the next step. But if you want to actually give this thing an alphanumeric uh, name, we can do that at this point. And this is how this is done with the, the keys. So we're going to call this call-VHF. So we're going to go to access the letter C. We're going to go to the second key, and we're going to press that until we see the letter pop up that we want. When we want to advance to the next letter, we go to the F key down here, which is the bottom side key. We press that, that advances us to the next slot. So we're back to that number two key again, because we need the letter A. Well, I went past it, so I'm gonna, isn't that nice? It does uppercase and lowercase at $89 of all things. Okay, so we've got that in there. We're gonna advance to the next letter. And that's going to be the L. Let's advance one more. Now, nope, went past it, so just keep pressing it till you get there again. Now, let's advance to the next one. What we need to put in here now is a dash. If you want to go to the characters, you press, you short press the VM, and just keep pressing that key. There's my dash that I need, and then we're going to put in VHF. One more. And as you can probably figure out, this gives you a maximum character limit of seven characters. Okay, we have everything in there as we want it. So we want to go ahead and commit this to memory. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to long press. We're going to press and hold the VM key, and that's now going to commit this to channel slot or memory channel slot number two. So we're going to hold that down. It's going to slash M in or mem in twice and you are ready to go. So I already have another memory channel in there um, and let's go to memory mode here, get out of VHF because or VFO rather. Okay, so I already had memory channel one, which was 430. So now we're showing memory channel two is call VHF. And that's simply as easy as it is. So let's do that one more time, but this time let's not do the alphanumerics. So let's go back to uh, VFO mode. And here we're going to go, uh, let's go ahead and go four, four, six, zero, zero, zero. And I believe that's going to be our national UHF frequency. Let me go ahead and just confirm that real fast. Um, there we are. Yeah, 446000 is what we're looking for. So we've got that in there. And again, we're going to, now that we've put that in, we're going to long press the VM. 
and it takes us to that next uh, memory slot, which is going to be channel three. But this time we just want to store that. We're not going to name it. We just want to store it as a frequency that's displayed. So we're going to save this as memory channel three, and we're going to just long press VM again. Blinks twice. Let's go to memory. And channel three is 446. Channel two is the one we put in called VHF. And again, 446. So that's how easy it is to program in your simplex channels. The way I normally set my radios up is I put all of my amateur radio simplex frequencies in first. So the first channels I get to are all simplex. Now altogether, I think I've got, uh, I think with our channel plan on the West Coast here, it's in the neighborhood of like 34 or 35 frequencies to put in. So uh, it really actually doesn't take that much time. You can spend about a half an hour or so and you can put in your first uh, 35 channels and you can make those all of your simplex channels. And next we'll move on and we'll start working on how to program in a repeater. But for now, this is programming in a simplex memory channel. So with that, I'll bring it to a close. Thank you for watching and or listening. This is Scott, Kilo CR6, Delta Alpha Yankee in Southwest Visalia, California. Have a nice day.